Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel, and today we'll be talking about 10 young MLB players and prospects who were drafted in the top 10 of the MLB draft at some point during the 2010s, but they are currently in serious danger of receiving the dreaded label of draft bust. These are players who are still active and have a shot at living up to their first round draft status, but they are definitely running out of time. For the following 10 players, 2024 needs to be a big season or their careers as future MLB stars might be in serious jeopardy. So without further ado, here's my list of 10 players drafted in the 2010s who are looking like possible, maybe even probable busts, but still have an outside shot of turning their careers around. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! So here we go. It's 2024 or bust for number 10, Joe Adele, Los Angeles Angels, 10th overall, 2017. Joe Adele was one of the hottest high school prospects in the country after he hit 449 his junior year with 11 bombs while also dominating as a pitcher. The Angels took him 10th overall and he showed instant promise, hitting 325 with 30 RBIs in rookie ball. In 2018, he shot through the system quickly, crushing 20 bombs across A-ball, high A, and double A. He made his big league debut in the COVID-shortened 2020 season, but hit just 161 in 38 games. Needing more seasoning, he started the 2021 season in the minors, but struggled again after a second promotion. In 2022, he was given an extended shot, but hit just 224, struggling to make consistent contact, showing poor plate discipline and not much power. He started 2023 in the minors and tore it up for Salt Lake, at one point hitting a home run in six consecutive games. He smashed 24 bombs in just 74 games with a 375 on on-base percentage forcing the Angels to call him back up. In 17 games, he hit just 207 with three home runs, but did miss a month due to an oblique injury. Adele's AAA performance in 2023 may give some fans hope that he can put it all together in 2024 for the Angels, but if he doesn't, the Angels might give up on him altogether. Number nine, Hunter Bishop, San Francisco Giants, 10th overall, 2019. The only top 10 pick from the 2019 draft to have not made it to the big leagues is Hunter Bishop, but to make matters worse, he hasn't even played above high A. He was a somewhat risky pick and having had only one great season at Arizona State, which was his 2019 breakout year when he hit 342 with 22 bombs. In low A that year, he hit just 224 before missing the 2020 season due to the pandemic. He missed most of the 2021 season due to a shoulder injury sustained from a swing. And then in 2022, he hit just 235 for high A Eugene with 13 homers before re-injuring his elbow, which required surgery that caused him to miss the 2023 season. Hunter Bishop has huge power potential, but injuries have kept him off the field. And it's too soon to call him a bust, but his inability to stay healthy have prevented him from moving through the minor league system. And the San Francisco Giants front office may lose patience sooner rather than later. Bishop needs a strong and healthy 2024 to prove he is still part of the future of the San Francisco Giants. Don't give up on us, baby. Number eight, Ryan Weathers, San Diego Padres, seventh overall, 2018. Ryan Weathers was one of the top high school arms in the country in 2018 and as a senior had just gone 11-0 with a ridiculous .09 ERA. The Padres took him 7th overall and he signed. Weathers showed strong stuff in the minors and in 2020, the Padres made the surprising move of promoting him to the big leagues for the first time during the postseason. He made his MLB debut in the NLCS throwing an inning and a third, walking two without giving up a hit or a run. In 2021, he made the team out of spring training, but struggled and was eventually optioned back to AAA. He spent nearly all of 2022 in AAA El Paso, where he was hit hard to the tune of a 6.73 ERA, giving up 163 hits and 123 innings. In 2023, he was given another shot in the bigs, but went one and six with a 6.25 ERA before being traded to the Miami Marlins, where he went 0-2 with a 7.62 ERA in three appearances. In his MLB career, Weathers is 5-15 with a 5.88 ERA and a negative 1.2 war. 
If he doesn't figure it out quickly, he's destined to be labeled a complete bust. 2024 is a huge year for Ryan Weathers. Number seven, Paven Smith, Arizona Diamondbacks, seventh overall, 2017. Smith was an elite hitter for three years at Virginia, hitting 342 during his final season, prompting the D-backs to take him seventh overall in the 2017 draft. In 228 at-bats, he had struck out just 17 times, making him a safe bet to be a quality hitter at the higher levels. He was assigned to low A Hillsboro and hit 318 with a 401 on-base percentage. He continued to climb through the system, playing a full year in AA in 2019, hitting 291 with just 61 strikeouts and 440 at-bats. In 2020, he got his first cup of coffee in the bigs, hitting 270 over 12 games. By 2021, he was deemed ready to enter into the Diamondbacks' everyday lineup and hit 267 with 11 homers. Nothing spectacular, but not a terrible rookie season. But then in 2022, Smith struggled, hitting just 220 with a 24.2% strikeout rate, an incredibly disappointing number for someone known for rarely striking out. He was optioned to AAA, and started 2023 with the Reno Aces, where he performed well hitting 318, but when given another chance in the bigs, he hit just 189 and 228 at bats, prompting fans to call him a bust and a quadruple A player. He was given just one at bat during the 2023 World Series in which he struck out. If he does not have a strong season in 2024, he's at risk of being non-tendered by the D-backs and possibly having to reprove himself all over again somewhere else before another team gives him a chance. Number six, Jared Kelnick, New York Mets, sixth overall, 2018. Kelnick was the number one ranked high school outfielder in the country when he was drafted by the Mets in 2018. He hit 286 in rookie ball before being traded to the Seattle Mariners, where he instantly became one of their top prospects. In 2019, he tore it up at single A, high A, and double A, hitting 291 with 23 bombs and was ranked as the 11th best prospect in baseball by Baseball America. In AAA in 2022, he hit 320 with nine bombs through 30 games, convincing everyone he was ready for the show. But then with Seattle, he hit just 181, striking out 106 times in 336 at bats. And in 2022, he was even worse, hitting an abysmal 140. He was optioned back to Tacoma, looking like a clear bust. But then he had an incredible spring training in 2023 and went on to have his most productive MLB season, hitting 253 with 11 home runs and a two war, although he missed some time due to an injury from kicking a water cooler. At just 24 years old, it may be too soon to give up on Kelnick, but he needs a big season in 2024 to prove that he's not a bust. Number five, J.J. Blade, Miami Marlins, fourth overall, 2019. The fourth pick of the 2019 draft looked like a sure thing as one of the best hitters in college baseball playing for Vanderbilt, a top SEC baseball program. He hit 347 with 27 bombs in 2019 before entering into the Marlins minor league system. His numbers in the minors were not especially impressive, but he did crush 20 home runs in AAA in 2022 with Jacksonville, but then hit just 167 for the Marlins in 65 games with five home runs. He was traded to the Oakland A's and with AAA Las Vegas in 2023, showed great promise by hitting 333 with eight home runs in 28 games while dramatically improving his walk and strikeout rates. He was promoted to Oakland and hit just 195 but showed decent power and on-base ability and could get a shot to be an everyday player for the A's in 2024. Number four, Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay Rays, fourth overall, 2017. One of the most talented college baseball players in the country in 2017 was without a doubt two-way player Brendan McKay, who hit 341 with 18 bombs at Louisville while also going 11-3 with a 2.56 ERA and a 12.1 per nine strikeout ratio as a pitcher. The Rays took him fourth overall in 2017 with plans to use him both as a pitcher and hitter. He impressed in the low minors and was ranked as the 23rd best prospect in baseball by MLB. While his hitting was decent, he was untouchable on the mound, going 6-0 in 2019 with a 1.22 ERA. He was promoted to the big leagues and took a perfect game into the sixth inning in his debut. He also hit his first big league home run that season. 
Since then, however, the injury bug has hit McKay hard, and he missed all of 2020 after shoulder surgery, struggled in 2021, then needed surgery due to thoracic outlet syndrome. He made just seven minor league appearances in 2022 before needing Tommy John surgery. McKay was released but re-signed on a two-year deal and should still be in the Rays organization in 2024, strictly now as a pitcher. He has shown insane potential, and if he can stay healthy, there's still a chance for McKay. Number three, Nick Senzel, Cincinnati Reds, second overall 2016. It's hard to call a guy with five MLB seasons under his belt a bust, but Nick Senzel also has a negative 1.8 career war and was recently non-tendered by the Reds. He was considered by many to be the safest overall pick in the 2016 draft after hitting 356 with Tennessee, and the Reds took him with the second overall pick. He immediately hit 329 with single-A Dayton and continued to look like a sure thing, hitting 340 with 10 bombs in 2017 for double-A Pensacola. Baseball America ranked him as the ninth overall prospect in MLB. He was hitting 310 in triple-A Louisville when a torn ligament ended his season early. And from there, he's dealt with a myriad of injuries throughout his career. He did hit 256 in his rookie MLB season in 2019, but struggled in 2020, hitting just 186 and dealt with a long bout with COVID. He played in just 36 games in 2021 due to a left knee injury, then struggled both in 22 and 23, eventually getting optioned back to AAA. He has just a 239 career batting average, but still has a chance to bounce back with another team in 2024. If he doesn't, he could very well be considered a draft bust. Number two, Joey Bart, San Francisco Giants, second overall, 2018. The second overall pick in the 2018 draft looked like a sure thing out of Georgia Tech, where he hit 359 during his final college season with 16 bombs and a 1,102 OPS. His skills seemed to translate to the pros nicely, and Bart tore it up at every level, that is, except the big leagues. He hit just 233 with no home runs in 2020, but may have been promoted prematurely because Buster Posey took the COVID year off. Bart hit 294 in AAA in 2021 and was given a chance to be the everyday catcher for San Francisco in 2022, but struggled to make contact and ended up back in AAA. He returned to the Giants later that season and showed improvement, but then in 2023, he hit just 207 and was sent back to the minors with Patrick Bailey taking over as the everyday catcher. As the second overall pick, Joey Bart was considered one of the top prospects in the Giants system for a long time, but now has exceeded his rookie limits, and with catchers Patrick Bailey and Blake Sable returning next year, 2024 will be a make-it-or-break-it year for Joey Bart. Number one, Mickey Moniak, Philadelphia Phillies, first overall, 2016. Mickey Moniak, the first overall pick from 2016, had already been written off by many as a complete bust until this season when he proved that he may still have a shot at becoming a productive big leaguer. Moniak was the 2016 Baseball America High School Player of the Year after hitting 476 with a ridiculous 961 slugging percentage his senior year. He signed with the Phillies for a $6.1 million bonus and immediately became one of the top prospects in baseball. He showed elite defense, but an average bat in the minors, striking out too much and struggling against lefties. He made his big league debut in 2020 going 3 for 14 with 6 strikeouts. In 2021, he hit 091 in 33 at-bats, striking out 16 times. And after struggling again in 2022, the Phillies decided to trade him to the Angels. And Moniak immediately impressed there, going 4 for 14 with a couple home runs before slowing back down and finishing the season hitting 200 for LA. It looked like Moniak was officially a bust. That is, until 2023, when Moniak suddenly had a breakout season with the Salt Lake Bees, smashing eight home runs in 33 games with a 308 average, prompting a call-up, where Moniak shocked many fans by hitting 280 in 85 games with 14 home runs, 45 RBIs, and an 802 OPS. Because it was only half a season, Moniak is still not a sure thing, but 2024 will be a huge year for him as he can completely rid himself of the bust label and become a key contributor for the Halos. On the other hand, if he reverts back to the sub-200 batting average and horrific strikeout rate, 2023 might be looked upon as a fluke.
And there you have it for 10 players who need to quickly put together a big season to rebuild some faith in the fans and GMs. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out the link above for another bust video. As soon as I complete it, I will link the top 15 MLB busts from the 2010s, a list that some of these players in this video might land on in the next few years if they don't get their careers going quickly. Have a great day, everyone. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and let me know of any other prospects who are running out of time to prove themselves. Thank you again, and we'll talk to you in the next video.